Welcome to Vegas Live with Nino. I'm Nino, your host, and I don't know if you know where I am, but I'm in a new studio, and it's absolutely amazing. It's called Quirky Minds Media. And not only do I do my show here, they've got the green screen, they've got everything here. They also do a podcast and everything. They're just a very well-established uh, company and doing very well, and I'm lucky to be here. In the meantime, Vegas Live with Ninon has not stopped through the pandemic. We keep going and keep going and keep going. And we find all the different people that come in, and some wear masks, some don't wear masks. It's, just a, it's whatever anybody wants to do. Anyway, I have... Um, Rose Kingsley with me. Um, I just know one thing about her. She's in the music business and she's a singer. So it's her show, not mine. Rose. Well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, we actually, with our show, we have a lot of people in the entertainment business yes. because that's what Vegas is. Vegas is, is, you know, you've got more entertainment people here that are dancing, they're singing, they're acrobats, <laughs> they're doing everything. you hanging from the ceiling, coming up from the... And it's amazing and it's absolutely beautiful. But... For the last, what is it? It's a year. I think Almost it's a, a year. I think it's a year today because it's March. I think it's March third. Is the year when the pandemic and I think everything stopped it it's did. functioning. It did. <laughs> we all went into this. Stay home. Don't move. <laughs> wear a mask. Yeah, wear a mask. Six feet apart. Now you have to wear two masks. <laughs> I don't want to wear one mask. I'm going to wear two masks. <laughs> I don't get that. Do you? Not at all. No. Not at all. So how has this all been for you? You're a singer. You can't... Well, maybe now you can start getting it. Well, yes. And that's one of the reasons I'm here in Vegas. Yes. Because we live in Palm Springs on the lower desert. Okay. And um, I'm doing a show here, which I will tell you about as I... As I progress into <laughs> what I have done show. in my life, yes. I am, I've been coined upper great turns jazz great. I was with the Metropolitan Opera in Oh New my, York. you're an opera singer. See. Uh, A little bit more. See. She's frightening me up. <laughs> and I have That's to amazing. tell you, and I have to tell you what? that I did a command performance for His <gasps> Royal Highness. His Royal Highness? I did. Now, which, which, which Royal Highness? Charles. Oh, Ch well, he's, yes, he is. Right. Isn't he, he HRH? He, he, he's not the, uh, yes, he is a highness, but he is not the king yet. Not yet. Oh, that's true. I'm and not, his mother, who is the queen, has not dedicated that to him yet. And we're not sure she's going to do that. Absolutely. Because I think she might turn it round to um, Charles's son, who is William, Prince William. And Kate and Princess Can she Kate. do that? She can do anything she wants. Because I, I heard that she had to hand it down. To well, I, I I don't no. know. I, I'm not so sure. What, I'm not going to quote on okay. that. But um, if I believe if she wants to, she can. What can we? Oh, he can actually say that he doesn't want it, and he, she might persuade him into doing that. I I don't know. For some reason, she doesn't seem to want him to be king. Otherwise, I I don't think she would have gone as long as she's gone. Right. I I agree. So anyway, agree. but so we could ring her up and find out. Can you give her a call? I, absolutely. Where's the phone? No, I don't. Well, they, we don't have phones anymore. We have cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anyway so come on. So, so, so how? Okay. So I originally started as a ballerina. Oh, how And beautiful. I danced with American Ballet Theater and the Royal Ballet. In, in London. London, that's what it was called, the Royal Ballet. Absolutely, and uh, I'm still a member of the Royal Academy of Dancing. Oh, how wonderful! In London, yes. Um, I then danced with the Metropolitan Opera Ballet Company, and it was then being on stage with the greats, Franco Corelli, Renata Tabaldi, Maria Callas, is when I Maria realized Callas, you were, oh she. I goodness. was in her master class at Juilliard. Oh my goodness! That's when I said I wanted. To, to sing. To sing serious sing opera. Opera. And uh, went to Juilliard and I trained. Did you have a natural voice coming in as sort of, I mean, you had a voice before you went for training, correct? Everybody has a voice. Well, I have I to have tell a voice, you. It doesn't mean to say my no, voice works people, in singing. People don't realize that a voice is like a fingerprint. And you can, everybody has. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Everybody can be trained to sing. To sing. Absolutely. Do you know who else said that? Jack LaRue. Oh. He's Jack LaRue. He was a he was a, did a lot of movies. But Jack LaRue always said, if you can talk, you can sing. Oh boy, he's so right. Is he right? Absolutely. See, that's what he said. Because I, I think when I said, I want to be a singer, he said, well, you can be a singer. Well, Absolutely. I well, I, you can also tell by s someone's speaking voice what oh, really? category. Now, you would definitely be a mezzo. Oh. Mezzo, they sing those. Lonely. They sing those lonely. Absolutely. Lonely. 
Are there all those sexy notes? Carmen! Oh, oh, yes, yes. I can just see me doing that. (laughs) You can do it, no problem. Uh, So anyway, so I've spent years traveling the world. I've slept with Pavarotti, Placido Domingo. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's been a wonderful career. Um, I then started my own upper school. I became professor of voice at Mm -hmm. Cal State, and then I started my own school uh, in San Jose, California, the Upper Institute of California, where I had over 300 students, and today I've got about 10 of them on. In San Jose, major. you could get 300 students? Oh, absolutely. They came from San... They, well, they, they came, came from, from all, all over, over the world. All over the world. And my co-artistic director was Charlie Weaker, who was artistic administrator at the Met. And so um, that was exciting, very what exciting. What type of career is that? Opera singers, you, you, you have to obviously, you can't have late nights, you can't be smoking, you can't That's be right. di- drinking. There's a lot of, <laughs> I guess the drinking part kind of does come in. A little bit. <laughs> well, you could make it like water, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but, so you, it must be a very dedicated um, oh, it career. Definitely, you want to take care of those Little well, yes, vocal that's what I was cords. getting to, those little chords. Those little chords. But even though the chords are there, you really don't sing from there. You sing from here. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what I love. And you breathe as deep as you, you can breathe. You have to breathe. control this thing. And, and the air comes through, vibrates those little chords. Is that training? That's obviously and, a lot of training. Oh, that is. Now that is. That is the training part of it. And I had a hard time tra- tra- transforming into a an opera singer opera. because ballerinas hold everything in. Yeah, we, and we yeah, shadow I, I took ballet as well. And you don't hold, let them see you yes. breathe. Don't, don't let move. them see you have a stomach either. Or, exactly. Now I, <laughs> singing is <laughs> the other way. You've got to let it all out. Absolutely. So it was a it was a challenge. But, but got, I but did. You did I did you the did. challenge. Which one did you prefer, the ballet or the opera? Oh, you know, once you're a ballerina, you're always a ballerina too. Oh, but okay. now that I have trans to another genre, uh, people say which to me, which is now, which is talking. now. Although I still, I still sing. I can still sing my opera, which I'm looking <coughs> to go back and do some opera <coughs> roles. Um, people say to me, well, now that you're singing the Great American Songbook and you're singing jazz and blues, God, I love jazz. what do you like? And I said, well, you know, there's when you're a singer, an opera singer, yes. and you have. 4,000 people in front of you, you have a 100-piece orchestra. And when the conductor goes there, you, you better start. be there. And when he goes here, you better be there. And you can't take a quarter note, make it a half note. No, you it can't. has to be a quarter. precise. It has to be exactly precise, coming in on time, going out on time, or without else... letting it overwrap or over anything. Right. Whereas regular singing... I'm calling it regular singing. I don't know if that's well, the word terminology, but that's my terminology. Right, being a pop singer. Being a pop singer, you can really change it a little bit up. Not only that, so you but... you must like that. I can put... I mean, you, you, put, your, you put your emotion in as definitely as an opera singer. You can singer. The But now I can make it, you know, hey, honey, if I want to hold the note and I want to do what about this... The, what about the, the, the band with you? They, they're, they, they're with me. They're with you. Oh, they, they, they're they know right exactly. with they me. They know exactly what you have to do. I'm like in a... In, a, in an opera house where well, everybody you know, where Puccini wrote that you sing what Puccini wrote you can't deviate you can't deviate not that, or bring all. in a couple of little bars of your own or do so you can't do that at all not at all not whereas at all. jazz singing you oh. can probably bump along and do whatever you want to my do my mama done told me when I was in big tales I love it I want some more <laughs> yeah. well you know what I, I'll, I'll show you what I yes. have for you yes. so anyway um about eight years ago, yeah. we discovered that I uh, had a jazz voice. And the whole trans, we've totally transitioned. And since then, the career has been amazing. I have performed all over the, the country. I've been at Birdland in New York. I performed at Feinstein's in New York City. I'm Isn't back this at Lincoln Center. Uh, we just did a concert last year with a friend of mine who's from London. His name is Richard Shelton. Who, sure, um, Richard Shelton? Yes. Yes, of Do you course. Know him? I don't know him, but I know of him, yes. He also was in Emmerdale. Yes. yes. And Richard and I do a show called Sinatra and Mercer. Oh, how and I'm going to show you some pictures. I adore Richard. As a matter of fact, I had a crush on Richard for a little bit. 
And then he told did, me that. Did, 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 isn't your husband here? No, no, he knows. He knows. Because. Um, gonna have a, gonna have a fight after the show. <laughs> <laughs> because because my husband actually came backstage and said, I met Richard's other half. And did I, he have a- <laughs> And I said, Really? Can I meet yeah. her? And she, he said, No, can you meet him? <laughs> I love it. So he was after her and you were after him. <laughs> I don't know what you call that, but I'm staying well away from that. <laughs> <one. laughs> but no, anyway, Richard, so he, Richard is wonderful. And uh, he's also performed for uh, Charles. Oh, he everybody. Did at there. Windsor Castle. Yeah. Oh, how lovely. Yes, he did. What an honor that is. Huh? Oh, it is. And oh. that's someday I will tell you the story when I was So we're going to have her back again. Oh, you have to. I was taken out to lunch by... Um, Charles' secretary, Sir William. That is another story at the Savoy. Oh, the Savoy Hotel. I know oh, very yes. well. I so know that hotel very, very well. So now back to my new seven years of being a great, great uh, jazz. I, um, my musical director is the great Johnny Mercer's son-in-law. Johnny Mercer. Who wrote Autumn Leaves. Yes, yes, yes. One I've for my baby. Yeah. Um, Incredible. All yeah. that, yeah. And um, we're very close with the Mercer family, and Bobby is 87 years old, and he's coming to a play for my show uh, on March 14th here. Um, we have Johnny Mercer's grandson, who actually was at Capitol Records. I'm now with Capitol Records in Hollywood, and we... This Just woman never com- stops, does she? Completed this album. Let me see, what is this? This is, look at this. Here we go, look. If you can see that, I'll put that up. But I know that um, Steve, my direct, my uh, producer, he'll put this up for you. But that's amazing. Fabulous. And we have the Mercer was that done? We did this at uh, Capitol Records right before the pandemic. So this is very recent. Recent at Capitol. So let me ask you one question before yes. we go into everything yes, yes. else. You don't really ever lose a voice, do you? It, it seems like, like a voice can go on. I, I'm thinking, obviously, Tony Bennett, because he still sings. He's maybe not what he was when he was, you know, in the, in the 30s right, or, right, or right. late 20 or whatever, but he still sings. And he and sings still well. got, Yes, he does, but he's, I mean, he's 80, 90 or something. 95. He's not... <laughs> and you know he has... I don't know, I'll still be alive. And he has dementia. Yes, they said that. But, but he can still sing. But he, he still he sings, still and he sing. remembers every lyric and every every rhythm. Isn't that amazing? Uh, that is amazing. So, so the singers don't really. So, with you coming out again, how long were you not doing this? Uh, doing singing, singing, and, uh, performing? and being performing. Um, or have you always done? I've that? always done that. But my my priority was I was teaching eight hours a day. Of, yeah, um, so that took up all her time. And, but but we did. I did concerts in between yeah, and things yeah, like. Yeah. But, but you're doing something more now because well were, now my new genre and I'm so excited. I've also appeared at the uh, Catalina Jazz Club and. Tony Bennett's been to my show. Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, I've worked with Michael Feinstein. And oh, my God. It's been a... And I was... So it's been a long journey of a beautiful, beautiful and, journey for you. And here we are, you know, yeah. back. And um, here in Vegas, I am doing my first performing arts show. Now, here. wait a second. This is not your first time you've appeared in Vegas. It is. I can't believe that. Yeah, the I've first been... time... Oh, this is going to be such an honor. This is amazing. And I'm doing a tribute to Judy Garland. Judy Garland. Well, we all know who Judy Garland is, and we all love her. I mean, that was an amazing woman. And it's at the uh, Summerlin Performing Arts Center on March 14th. Okay. At 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, is that a Sunday? It is. Sounds like a Sunday it to is. me. Sunday afternoon concerts, which are the best. And... Um, What's interesting about me doing Judy, I do not imitate Judy, no. but we both have the same drama in our voice, and we've both, <laughs> ironically, performed I performed at Carnegie Hall. Judy's performed at Carnegie oh, Hall. Yeah. She actually did a one-woman show at the Metropolitan Opera, and I've been at the Metropolitan oh, Opera. So you've had a lot in common. And we both recorded at Capitol Records. You know, so and we both started performing when we were two years old. But you're also both individuals of your own voice, your own thing. Absolutely. There's nobody copying anybody. Oh, no, no, one no, doing no, this, no, 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 still all. doing your own thing, but you still have the same kind of voice and the same the drama, the drama, the, yeah, the drama, the drama, the drama. So that means you're very active on stage. Yeah. You're moving. Yeah. <laughs> you, I'm you're an moving actress. Around a little bit there. I'm an actress, you know. Yeah. Um, but what's really exciting is that all my music, and this was my first album called This Is My Life, 
Okay, and when was this done? That was done a couple years ago, and it uh, received rave reviews from Jazz Weekly, Jazz Monthly, and Associated What made you go into jazz? Because I love jazz. So. I, you know, I think I've always loved it, you yeah. know, and I always felt being a diva. It's got a an certain, yeah, you are definitely a diva. But yeah. There's certain movements in it, isn't it? Isn't it fine? You can move around it, and you get... Because it's very rom it's romantic, but it's also loud. It's also sort of you know, sort of you know, they get into it, and it's it. You feel it. I feel it in my soul. Yeah, I do. And I love singing the blues. And I don't know where that came from, but I love the blues. So. You could give me a little blues. Give me a, give give me something. Oh well, we I love doing this. Um, my mama then told me when I was in pigtails. My mama then told me, hon. I love it. I yeah, love that's, that. That's the one. So we've got, we got to go to the uh, Summerland Theatre. Oh, please. On, Mar on March the 14th. 14th. And they can get tickets by going on rosekingsley.com or they can phone 760-636-0008. Whose number is that? That's our number. That is that's our your number. number. That's my, our number. My so own. what I'm saying is that they get to talk to you. Ah. So if you call the number, obviously, and you're, you know. Or my business manager, who is my husband. Oh, your business. Oh, your husband manages you. Oh, how, how many years has your husband managed you? Well, the last seven oh. years, because seven we've years. only we've only we've only been married seven years. You've only been, well. That's, that's, that's pretty. Married. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but you got married before that, right? Yes. You have yes. children? Yes, I have a daughter. You have a daughter. And two grandchildren. And two grandchildren. And then they've been reading. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, yeah that's absolutely beautiful. But I have to tell you that my music, everyone can hear, is being played on Pandora, Spotify, Google, Apple, and I am featured on Seriously Sinatra on Channel 71 on Sirius And it Radio. all goes under Rose Kingsley? Yeah, absolutely. So go under Rose Kingsley, and actually, if you put that name into Google, um, it brings up her whole biography. It'll bring up absolutely everything yeah. of where you can reach her. You can get her probably on Facebook, and I'm uh, sure yes. you're on, sure you're on oh, yeah. uh, YouTube and on all of them. I, yes, I have my own actually radio station on uh, Pandora. Gonna, does this woman ever stop? <laughs> <laughs> you have your own ra on Pandora. Pandora. You have your own radio, radio station. station. Yeah. That's amazing. So I do you know. do iPods or anything like that? Yeah. You yeah. do iPods. Yeah. Well, we we'll have to get you into this company as well. I would love to. Quirky Minds I would Media. love to. We'll have to get you into hair because we do the iPod. I'm on the iPods as well. I'm so excited because I'm on all these different stations. And I'm, I'm on, a, I'm on Amazon. That. I'm on uh -huh. Google. I'm on Apple. And then there's a slew of them going along then. Because James Kelly, who is the owner, he's absolutely amazing to work for. Great. But he'll make it easy for you. If you okay, want to put fabulous. all that on there. I would love I to. I think that would be absolutely fabulous. Be on that, we're going to close out. But don't forget, um, March 14th, at the Summerland Theatre in Las Vegas. But you don't have to live in Las Vegas, so you don't live in Las Vegas, right? No, but we you commute. But but commute. We may be living in Las Vegas. Oh, you might move her. Yeah. Well, yeah, wait for the, all the stuff to open up first. Exactly. But I think you will get a lot of bookings. I think I don't oh, think there will be you. a problem at all. Absolutely oh, an amazing... My new manager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go. I'll manage you. I'll help you. And I have to thank Jewel. Jewel oh, Jules, Bailey, Jules, who is yes. amazing. Jewel Bailey is a, is a friend, I think, of a, a lot of people in Las Vegas. I'm trying to get her onto the show, and every time I see her and she comes to my studio, I said, Craig, you're coming on. She said, no, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. So I don't, I, I'm waiting for the readiness. So I, don't know what that, I don't know where we're going to hit that key. We're going to hit the key. She doesn't sing. But Jules is oh. because she has she makes every piece of clothing oh, yes. into a diamond festival. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's just it's it's beautiful. She has a lot of people working for her, but her company is is she put, like she would love to. I'm sure she's looking at me <laughs> saying, "I'd love to put diamonds all the way down and all the way over here." <laughs> and she does diamonds on boots. She does diamonds on. I mean, she's amazing. I know. But back to Rose, thank you so much thank for coming you. on. You are, she's amazing. Yeah, absolutely absolutely wonderful. But to listen to her and to hear her March 14th. Uh, Take care. We'll be you. right back with our next guest. Take if you enjoyed the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe. Vegas Live with Nino on, on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Nino.